Did anyone ever teach you how to change a tire? Or did you come from one of those, that's what AAA is for kind of families? Well, changing a tire is an important skill for every driver to have. And anyone can do it, even in heels. To get started, find your jack and your lug nut wrench. And of course, your spare tire. You won't get too far without that. In fact, you should check your spare tire's pressure regularly just to make sure it's fully inflated. When you got a flat, the last thing you need is a useless spare. Now the first thing to do is park your car on the most level ground you can find, and then engage your parking brake. If you've got a manual transmission, leave it in first gear or reverse. For automatics, you'll want it in park. Next, take off the hubcap if your car has one, and use your wrench to partially loosen the lug nuts. If you're not sure how to remove the hubcap, just check your owner's manual. Also, check to see if your car has plastic covers over the lug nuts like this one does. If so, then take them off first. Your lug nut wrench probably won't fit over them. And make sure you put them somewhere safe so you don't lose any of them. Now to take the lug nuts off, go in a star pattern, loosening one of the lug nuts a half turn and then loosening the one opposite to it. Work your way across the tire until all the lug nuts are unscrewed a half turn. Before you jack up the car, put a heavy object, like a brick, in front of the wheel diagonally opposite the flat tire to prevent the car from slipping. Here's where the jack comes in. Put it under the car's frame near the wheel with the flat. There's a thin lip that runs along the side of your car. That's usually where the jack goes. Your car might be different though, so just check your owner's manual for the safest place to put your jack under the car. Remember, it's possible for the car to slip off its jack. So never get underneath a car that's only supported by a jack. Okay, so now you've got the jack in place. Now insert the handle and turn it clockwise to lift the jack up. If it lowers the car or won't turn, try turning the handle the other way. Make sure you raise the jack high enough to replace your flat tire. The new tire will be full of air, so you'll need more room than you think. Remember those lug nuts you loosened earlier? Now you can take them off completely. Once the lug nuts are off, you can pull off the flat tire. To make sure you put the new tire on the right way, look for the air valve. It should be facing out. To replace the lug nuts, go in the same order you loosened them. Tighten one nut a few turns, and then do one opposite until each lug nut is partially tightened. Then go back across in your star pattern to tighten them completely. To lower the jack, turn the handle slowly counterclockwise until the tire just makes contact with the ground. And watch out for your feet as you lower the jack. A flat foot is even worse than a flat tire. Make sure each lug nut is completely tightened before you remove the jack. And don't forget to put your jack and the object that's under the opposite tire back in your car before you drive off. See how easy that was? If you want to learn more about taking care of your car, check out our other Automotive 101 videos. You can find them at SaabUSA.com slash Saabcasts.